morning folks out on a ride out again or should I say Boradar being over in God's country again today um, on another ride out this morning uh, and I'm going to ride a road that I've been looking at I've spotted it hundreds of times when I've been passing it and I thought I'm going to go and ride that road uh, and it's a it's a very narrow road it seems to follow the road of a valley from the A458 I think this is from the A458 down to the A470 at Llanbryn Mire so I'm going to go and ride that road today and finally put to bed something I've been looking at for years and thinking I need to go and ride that road so uh, we're about to head off and do that and I hope you'll come along and join us on that ride and uh, we discover what I hope is going to be some uh, stunning countryside down there so uh, I'll see you back on the bike well here we are back on the bikes folks and, uh, and Stan the Scram and you're joining me on Stan with our uh, my companion my uh, Wales uh, motorcycle companion Merv the Dragon and we're off to as I explore this lane that I've noticed hundreds of times driving back and forth on this road and I thought I'm going to go and ride that road because it just looks like it's going to be something special so let's hope it lives up to uh, to expectations and that's what we're going to go and do today another lovely sunny day I'm, I'm here for the week now uh, but as usual in Wales it looks like uh, half of that week at least is going to be rain so um, we'll do our best to get out and about when uh, during periods of uh, when it's not raining so uh, fingers crossed that um, we can get a few rides out on so 0.7 miles is this right turn yeah so it's a road that links the 458 to the 470 at Flandrin Mire and uh, it appears to go down this valley to the right and uh, I've got a feeling it could be something a little bit special so let's hope so uh, and it's, uh, if, you, if you don't know this turns here you'd easily miss it, it's 0.4 miles away and I kept spotting it and I thought I'm going down that road so today that's what we're going to go and do One, three miles, two miles. It is a very, it's a blink and you miss it road. This is 0.1 miles. So I'm looking out for it on the right now. 155 yards. Here it is, just coming up on the right here. As you so you'd agree, if you don't, uh, if you're not careful, you'd very easily miss that. A lot of Welsh bunting and things around at the moment. I think it's all steadfast. <coughs> oh, the car's going to follow me down here. How disappointing. I thought I was going to have this road to myself. But I've got a car behind me. So he may well have had the same idea as me. Let's go and see what's down here. And here we go. Lovely. Lovely so far. Oh, Peter, I think you'd be pleased, proud of me doing this one. I'll have a little bridge over the stream. What do you think, Merv? Typical Welsh countryside? Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, you've done these roads loads of times. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Yeah, I know all, you, all the dragons before you have done them. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll get you Welsh. Now, though this car behind me is going to be in a hurry, but what I might do is pull over, just let him through, because I don't, I don't want to rush this road. So what I'll do is I'll just let him pass. I think. Let's pull here, let him pass. He may well be in a bigger hurry than I am, and I don't want to hold him up. Oh, lovely, yeah. It is, look, does look like it's going to be what I was hoping it was going to be. It's 
2.6 miles. Oh, it's going to take me to a drop pin. I've set drop pins to make sure that the uh, beeline keeps me on this road. Oh, this is nice. A few flies. Maybe one of them when you're hoping nothing to come in the other direction. <laughs> Sure. Wow, that? Yeah, a lot of little flies down here, but to be expected. Oh, following the stream, I was hoping there'd be something like that. Brilliant. that goes up there. And we've got a farm coming up on our left. It's lovely. This is the whales we want. Oh man. Oh isn't that lovely. And the stream passing across in front of your house. And a motorbike. Imagine that might be a B and B or something. is marvellous. Oh wow. Fantastic. Forestry Commission. Gate open as well. Oh, a little uh, waterfall there. That's lovely. Well, you can see it from here. 
beautiful. How lovely is this? <coughs> Swallowed a fly. So I hope you've all been. Uh, Keeping well and getting out and doing some riding. I'm uh, been pretty lucky at the moment. I'm, I'm getting a lot of opportunities to get out and, and do riding in Wales. Not so much at home, but that's going to pick up shortly. And it's about six weeks. <coughs> I think it's six weeks on Tuesday. Um, that we, we head off to uh, to Norfolk. Do our Norfolk tour. Paul's planned all the rides. Sent them to me. So we're all the planning's done, I think. Just uh, waiting for it to arrive. I need to try and get another uh, 500 miles on me Hunter before uh, before then. So that's my goal for the next few weeks when I'm at home just to get those miles on the Hunter. It's just marvellous. In my happy place again. The trees uh, died. Superb. We can squeeze past each other. Oh, lovely view down the valley there. Beautiful. Bit of a blind corner that then. I oh, hope I've done you proud, Peter, with this one. Lovely. 150 yards, that's another drop in.
beautiful absolutely beautiful stream again Hello sheep. Yes, Merv, they are sheep. They, uh, they, they're always looking for the greener grass on the other side, aren't they? Or, uh, yeah. But it's never, the, yeah, well it might be, but uh, it's the risk of death. I don't know why they do it. I suppose it's the rebellious ones that do it. Delinquent sheep. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Look at that over there. But yeah, again, you'll be in lots of uh, uh, superlatives uh, from our very short vocabulary of superlatives. But you're going to get them. And I'm going to make no apologies for it. <laughs> it is. It's got to be what it's got to be. Oh, bloody wind turbines. Uh. Yeah. Bad road surface here. Twenty nine miles into the day's ride. It was about twenty miles to get to the starting point for this road. And I think it's two point three miles to Slandry Mile where we turn right. To join the A four seventy for a short spell. What do you think of wind turbines, Merv? Yeah, blight on the landscape, I totally agree. Totally agree. Ruining the beautiful landscape with things that uh, work intermittently and uh, are not very uh, efficient in the job they're meant to do. Yep, you remember windmills, proper windmills. Yep, that for use for grinding um, wheat to make flour. Well, oh, yep. Well, you being as old as you are, you would do. That's what windmills should be used for. I agree, and they look nice. Those windmills. They fit. They fitted in with the landscape. They've been around as long as you have, Merv. You're going to have seen all this stuff before, uh, in its early uh, incarnations. 
It's nothing new under the sun. That's what they say, isn't it? It's nothing new under the sun. I wonder where that goes. Should we can have a look? I know it's off the beaten track, but let's go and have a look. I suspect it's to somebody's property. So why may, may not? We'll have a look. Uh, Balani Kum. Is that a private property? That's private property, I don't know. Is that a private property? Is that a private property down there? Uh, it, it just, to be honest with you, it's a logging track and it just goes to like a farm at the end. There's not a lot down there. Cool, thanks mate. Right just looking around really. Oh, it's down, yeah, it's carrying on down this route. It's alright. Cool. You what, sorry? Cool. Thanks guys. Cheers. Have a little look, eh? Have a little look. Little lodge. Nice. Ah, stream. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, I'll go down the way back and get a picture. I like it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh man. Beautiful. Oh 
this is good. This is good. This is what we want. But if you are crawling around in my helmet, get out. Oh, this is good. Oof. What do you think, Merv? Yeah, your sort of territory. Very nice, that stream running down the side of us here. Yeah, I agree. It is lovely. It is fun, isn't it? It's better than riding the main roads, absolutely. And what are scrams made for? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's a bridge there. There is a stream. It's magnificent. I think, uh, there's some machinery off to my left. I'm guessing we're coming towards the end of the uh, the line, the track. Still following the stream though. Marvellous. Still going. If it's still going, we're still going. Might be a bit of a change of plan with today's ride out. Oh, sheepy fella. Well, yeah. Best get back where you belong. over the stream. Fantastic. He's going on and on, isn't he? Love it. I think we've reached the end of the road here. Yeah. Yeah. Have we? Or have we? we? No, we haven't. Still going. Is that? I think that's. I suspect that's somebody's 
house on that note I think we'll go back as I say don't want to be trespassing although it doesn't say private or anything what do we think go a bit further Can he do any harm? Probably not. Might even get past and carry on. Or if he doesn't, it doesn't, soon spin round in the road here. Ah, no, this is somebody's property. Turn around here. Turn around. Can't do any arm to have a look, can he? Can't do any arm to have a look. Lovely. Well, that was nice, that was a nice unplanned detour. Enjoyed that. Let's head back. stream now on me right. Wonderful. Yeah, a little, uh, it, this pole worked brilliantly uh, last week when I was in Snowdonia. I think what's happening because I've got the weight of the road receiver on it, and the microphone receiver. It's uh, pulling it to the left. Not an issue. Uh, and the reason I'm, if you're interested, why I'm using that microphone to record onto the Insta360 so that I can sync up the uh, 
the audios when I do uh, use 360 footage. Um, I uh, don't want to give in that puddle. I can sync up the audio. Yuck. Um, when cutting in the 360 footage. Essentially, like a, a backup as well. That we shall see. Lovely. The trees have fallen down there. I do love these sorts of forests. Look at this, oh man, beautiful. We've built a bridge down there. Looks like a caravan down there then. I set up a little sort of home in the woods. Fantastic. Here's where I want to stop. Just pull in here. Beautiful. Oh, absolutely lovely. Nice, isn't it? That's lovely. Really nice. Really, really nice. Beautiful. Good old stand. Right, as I'm, uh, I'm on the road again. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Right, yeah, just trying to gather my thoughts, apologies, <laughs> i probably cut this. Uh, yeah, we're back on the road, and uh, sort of back following the route. Enjoyed that little detour, another half a mile and we're back on the planned route. Lovely detour. Smaller back lanes. Gotta love a lane.
and here we are almost back at the start of this uh, this road lovely really lovely 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 There we go. Back where we started. I'm really glad I that made that decision to turn around and go and do that. I think in 1.6 miles we uh, were turn right onto the 470 in Flandrin Mire. Andy. So we'll pull over just before the end of the year. Well that was a, I lived up to expectations that did, I enjoyed that ride, very much enjoyed that ride. Uh, there's another road over to my left between Clanerville and, uh, God what's it called, Tullerdig, where we're going to go and explore which is where my ancestors, my great, great grandparents uh, farmed and lived. And we're going to go and have a look at that, one of the rides out. So this is the, uh, this is the landscape that they would have seen. And I uh, think that plays a big part in why I love it so much, because it's in my DNA. I think landscapes and places can be in your DNA. Part of that environment. That's, that's how I perceive it feels to me. And I just love you. Being in places like this makes me happy. Drop it into Flandrin Mire now. Pull over in a second. And then we'll do a slight, uh, some slight changes. Lovely house. Into the railway. It just all seems really familiar to me, that's the strangest thing. That's, I never feel like I'm in somewhere strange, I've got to other places I feel like I'm somewhere strange. Here, always feels familiar. Anyway, there you go. Back in a second. Mm -hmm. 